Hello everybody and welcome back to the server. At the end of the last episode for a time lapse uh, that I couldn't do because I didn't really have the uh, the replay mod, uh, which I still don't have the replay mod uh, for this version that we're running. Uh, so instead I did a time lapse whereby I uh, sat still in this pen that's behind me and watched the sniffer eggs hatch. So it, not quite as exciting, but I thought it was fun. It was one of the things that I thought that I'd really like to do in this version that we're, we're running on as the sniffers was one of the new features and uh, it was the mob that I had voted for. So it, I figured I, I really needed to do something with them. So I created this pen. The general idea I had with this was going to be to use some allays and actually turn this into a farm. Uh, not sure if I've got the time to do that, but this is what we've got so far and I like it. I, 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 I like the, uh, the trees, I mean, I, I grew them. They're not custom trees by any means. I, I did move a couple of leaves to remove spawn spots, um, placed all the blocks and turned them into moss. So um, a little bit of work here. And uh, just wanted to add something of interest for that last video. So that, that was my project. As for the work that I'm doing on the base, uh, I've got a circle. And not only that, I've got uh, oval as well, and uh, the placement of the next circle uh, that's going to be going into the very, very large uh, part of the boat that's up above. So let's go ahead and fly up there. I should have enough uh, durability on my wings yet. So this is uh, about, the, the top of this is about 10 blocks away from build height. So uh, we, we are definitely utilizing the space that we've got here. And if I need to put anything up there, I've got a little bit of room. Um, I, I did kind of mess up this part here. Uh, well, actually, it, it was that circle. Um, the middle section here is actually an even number. I would have preferred it to be an odd number. But um, considering the time crunch, I went, never mind. It's cool. I'll work with it. So the, this section here is four blocks high. Um, those uh, other circles are going to end up being five blocks wide and it's, it's gonna work. It's gonna look uh, hopefully great, we'll, we'll see. Um, and then obviously trying to keep things uh, illuminated so that we don't have any mob spawns. Working up here, this was very interesting because this took about a, uh, 30 minutes to, to create each section of this. Um, and that means that we had night going on. So we had some mobs that we had to shoot off and, uh, you know, make sure they didn't blow up anything that we were doing. But uh, once it was completed, everything is now spawn proof because we use stairs. Uh, and then we did the back section again, another 30 minute build over there. Um, a lot smoother on that side because I didn't uh, inadvertently build it five tall and then have to tear it down and fix up the fourth layer again. So that being said, um, the the reason uh, this ended up not being the way that I anticipated it was because I decided to uh, try and spare myself some effort. And uh, instead of trying to go back and forth between my own calculations and drawings and whatnot and try and rebuild it, which uh, didn't work. The top section ended up being shorter than the bottom section. And I just, I went, I, I can't do this. I don't have time to, to fuss with this. So uh, because I have mini HUD, which uh, I usually only use for the coordinates and tell me which biome I'm in and what direction I'm facing, which it's very useful. And I like that it's, it's just, you know, quietly up in the upper left corner of my screen there. It's, it's very unobtrusive. But another feature that it has is it can overlay some circles or uh, cylinders or spheres even um, and also do some spawn radius type stuff and, and what have you. Um, a lot of that I hadn't played with, just hadn't gotten into doing any of that. But I did decide I'm gonna use the circle. So let's go ahead and pull those up. You can see just on the very edges of this one that's completed, you can see the orange that I used, uh, it stood out a lot better using the orange instead of the blue, um, trying to see everything and get everything fixed. And uh, it, it, I needed visibility. 
And then over here, we established uh, the next circle that I'm going to do. So this one's going to go up and around, um, just like that one does, just smaller radius. And we're probably going to be using these circles throughout the, the rest of the build, um, simply because there's going to be a lot of areas that I got to get filled in and I may not have the time in order to do all the calculations. So we went ahead and laid out the three circles that we need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill these in with blocks. And uh, when that's done, then I can go ahead and uh, I, I think that's all I'm going to end up doing for the frame. Um, aside from using, uh, the plan was to use some fence posts to attach the frame to the boat, um, kind of like thick ropes. And so the, those are going to go on each section here and then down to the ship. So as you can see, that's it's going to be fairly big. It's going to require an absolute mess of wool. I, I, I honestly think that's going to be what slows me down the most is, is having to get the wool. I'm also probably not going to have enough wood to get the frames all done yet. So I'll probably have to do a couple of grind sessions in between. But um, on the plus side, with, with those circles there and the plan in place, I think we're finally going to get this ship uh, looking mostly in place. I'm not going to say complete. Um, I don't think I'm going to have the time to do the decoration. And those clouds are really interfering with my ability to see the ship. So there you go. This is what we've got so far. Absolutely a huge build. And I'm going to go ahead and keep adding to it. And uh, I will catch you again or catch, catch you all back up once I have oh lovely the server is going to restart so I'm going to land safely and um, we're going to as soon as it's back up we're going to get that build in place and uh, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll make progress on this uh, boat today so catch you in a moment well, that was just a tidy little bit of excitement. Uh, I went to go repair my elytra, which you can see I, I kind of did. And um, unfortunately, where I go to repair, I usually go and trade with the villagers back in the hub. But there was a raid going on, and uh, I, I, I had to take on the raid. And um, unfortunately, I, I didn't realize how quickly Vex actually take your health down when they start hitting you. Like... They do these little hits, and you're like, oh, that's not so bad. And then they hit you about half a dozen times, and you go, oh, that's not good. And as you try to flee, then they hit you midair. Your stuff explodes everywhere. And I lost my axe, my, my favorite netherite axe, uh, my fortune axe. It's gone. But uh, I, I, I have my silk touch one. I can use that for, for building right now. But uh, yeah, first time getting through a raid and getting hero of the village. So as you can see up there in that corner there, I, I'm a hero. Uh, not, not much of one. Um, probably about half the villagers that are over there are now uh, gone. But the farmers are there and those are the ones I usually trade with. So I, I guess I can work on trying to get the other ones back in place at some point, maybe, if I need to. Uh, I kind of doubt I'll need to, considering I'm working on wool and uh, dark oak at the moment, and those I can get. So, yeah, um, just thought I'd give you the update while I, while I still have the the hero of the village. So, uh, you're welcome, villagers, um, but uh, y'all owe me a new axe, so uh, I, I I'm gonna have to get one. Uh, probably next season so we're not even going to worry about it so uh yeah on with building all right and here is the second circle complete uh all in place and ready to go and what we're going to do is go ahead and just close that circle back up and we will go head over to the other side um we haven't even put any scaffold down for that one but um, hopefully we have enough from what I've got here, otherwise I'll have to dig out uh, my extras. 
the problem I do have is I'm pretty sure I don't have enough wood so I'm gonna have to go chopping more trees here in a little bit ah good I did mark it so yeah this should be enough scaffold for this section so once we get up here we can go ahead and put our base platform set our bed up and everything else because if we want to sleep this is actually a very convenient spot and I'm like two more blocks no three there we go I need to be above uh, everything that I've been doing um, I've been building on the inside of this circle so if I continue maintaining the inside then we uh, shouldn't have any problems now the trick I have to do is figure out where this starts uh, in the daytime it can be a little bit difficult to see this border especially when where, where these corners line up um, so once in a while I have to, to slow down and take a look at it again and make sure that I am in good shape so yeah the um, this mod really is is being very very helpful for for this particular build uh, just so that I don't have to sit here and go back and forth on everything. Um, what I typically do is I will pull up like paint and just uh, set my my um, canvas to be oh uh, I base it on the number of pixels that I'm working in and then once I have the canvas set then I will draw a circle in it uh, with the line depth being just a single pixel line depth and that gives me the outer area that I need to do and that's actually how I did uh, this outer ring um, was just setting up uh, everything and um, it it works well enough however I, I seem to continuously have trouble I already did that yes I did I continuously have trouble trying to make sure that I get the exact right uh, pixel settings and then oftentimes uh, they're not quite right and and what ends up happening is when I don't have them right then I um, have to fix it or go back or just make an adjustment in this particular case I had to make an adjustment uh, the end sh according to my drawing should have been too wider but I must have had the wrong width so um, I I just looked at it when I got there and I went this is good enough I, I think that's going to work just fine and I will stick with it so uh, didn't didn't end up making any adjustments uh, or any other adjustments or having to, to do any other tearing down aside from building one layer too high based upon what's the center point here um, on that first ring that I created so um, that's how that all worked uh, I, I kind of wish that this mod had the ability to do uh, an outline for that shape instead but mathematically I guess that would be uh, a, a little bit more challenging so Maybe if I want that feature, I might have to see if I can help make that feature. But for now, I think I'm good. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting this section in. And once this section is all in, uh, I'm gonna start grabbing wool and we should start filling things in. So yeah, I'll, I'll be back when we're ready for some wool. There we go. I have got all three rings in place. And I will go ahead and uh, close up this one. So the only one we should need to get up to again will probably be the middle one over there. Um, and that's simply to just start from there and go outward and hopefully fill everything in. Um, I am anticipating this is going to be quite challenging for me but it should be fine or I'm just going to set up a whole bunch of different uh, 
rings so that hopefully I can get it filled in quickly and properly and it, it'll it'll shape up well. Um, I have absolutely no idea what it's going to end up looking like when I'm done and I was about to fly off and show you um, the whole thing profile wise but I'm going to need some rockets so let's just get those and off we go now to avoid the clouds I'm going to try and see if I can stay a little bit lower All right, there we go. We've got the absolutely huge ship, the enormous rings uh, to hold the, the balloon in place. And so all we're missing is the, the wool itself to go and build the balloon out and the pieces that are actually going to hold it all in place. And maybe I will do those next before I get going on that wool. But, um, that being said, let's just go ahead and make it day and start gathering up the wool. And then we can continue building. So, yeah, I, I think that's where we're going to go for, for now. So, um, I believe all of these should be empty. So, we'll fill those up and... Uh, yeah, more building. Hopefully soon, very soon, we will have this all done up here and can focus on maybe some smaller bits and pieces here and there, try and work on more completion versus uh, just general giant base building and uh, nothing terribly exciting. But uh, yeah, hopefully you're still enjoying it and seeing this whole thing come together. And I, I will... Uh, I'll be back with you just in, in just a moment. Well, we did go ahead and uh, put the attaching pieces. It's meant to look kind of like a uh, rope braided together going all the way up to hold onto the rings. Um, I feel like there's a little bit more work to do with these, maybe flare them out towards the bottom and, uh, you know, remove those again, remove the straight lines, but for the moment, I'm going to keep those the way that they are. And you can see I've got uh, all six sets in, um, going at different angles and uh, just holding on, depending on where the ship is, is determining where the, the angles are going. So hopefully it'll make a lot of sense. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm realizing I, I kind of wish that the balloon was going to be a little bit wider than the ship is, but um, space limitations because I built uh, so high up in the first place and I'm not about to move all those rings again because there's just not time and it's not worth the effort. Uh, I also did begin filling in the first big ring of the balloon uh, so we are uh, completely mob proofing it in here so we've got wool and uh, carpets so that nothing can spawn in there uh, just going to simply remove all the lights and from the outside this is what we're looking like uh, so um, this is just the first ring hopefully this is going to um, look better and better as I continue going uh, and I did decide to continue using uh, mini HUD, uh, built out the the ring, made the width uh, enough to fill in this section. So it's making it a lot faster to uh, actually put the pieces in place. The uh, major problem is it's still very, very time consuming. I think doing most of this probably took, oh, two, two and a half hours, I think. Um, so I'm just going to continue working on uh, filling this all in and then continue moving on to each section, each direction and getting everything filled in as best I can uh, so long as the wool holds out. Uh, so far I have gone through oh, probably about five and a half shulkers worth of wool. So uh, I also went ahead and 
put in a lot more shears into my sheep farm so that this week I can do a lot more AFK sessions, generate a lot more wool, and uh, I'm going to be probably spending my evenings just filling in imaginary rings uh, to make this balloon shape uh, complete. So that is my plan. That's where I'm going. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and uh, I hope I can get the next one out uh, fairly soon and keep you guys up to date as I try and finish up this ship. So thanks for joining me and we'll catch you again next time. Goodbye, everybody.